Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Watch Us Play. I'm Eric Norris alongside Joe Davidson here. Uh, we are playing Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning. Amalur? Amalur? Amalur. 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 Like you need to say it some uh, crazy way. Alright, so the reason this game is kind of on our radar in general is it's developed by kind of like powerhouses of various like industries. Baseball among yeah. them. So, but yeah, so... Uh, 38 Studios is the development team working on this. Mm -hmm. They are, their founder is, or co-founder is Kurt Schilling, the once Major League Baseball pitcher. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, we got Todd McFarlane is the artist for the game, who many of you know is the creator of Spawn, yep. probably. Um, R.A. Salvatore, the famous fantasy author, is handling all the fiction and lore. And then Ken uh, Rostone, if I said that right? Ken Rolston. Rolston, there you go. Lead is designer from uh, Oblivion and Morrowind, the Elder Scrolls games, yep. previous to Skyrim. Yep, and now he's the lead designer on this. So there's a lot of, like, I guess, stuff, hype riding on this game just because of these various people it's gathering a, It's together. a veritable who's who. <laughs> there you go. All right, so we're actually playing the demo of the game, which is available now on... Xbox Live, um, and I believe PlayStation Network. We're playing it on Xbox. Um, I don't know what that is. Bro. So you can you can actually snag this right after watching it if this tickles your fancy. If those mustaches tickle your fancy, which, which quite frankly, let's yeah, let's be serious. They should. Um, so Joe, you you've been playing around with this demo longer than I have before uh, getting over here to you. Mm -hmm. So. What do you think thus far? What are your initial thoughts? Um, so far, you know, it's okay. Uh, it's it's after playing Skyrim a lot, I guess. I think I'm kind of a little jaded here because this is a very narrow experience so far. Yeah. Uh, I, I hear that it might open up once we get out of this little demo area, which is what we're trying that's, to do now. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I what I hear also is this mm -hmm. demo has like a tutorial that kind of shows you the ropes, and things. It's very linear, and then supposedly opens up. Um, for like 45 minutes of kind of free play mm -hmm. until until it turns off. We, I see. We have yet to actually experience that for ourselves. Right. Oh, look at um, these poor tortured <laughs> bastards. We did not play through this once and then play through to record. We just no no. Well, right I, I well I fired it up once and I was like I'm kind of bored and then <laughs> I, I didn't continue and uh, I'm firing it up again obviously for the sake for of this still. laboratory. Uh, now one of the things I I mentioned right when I saw you you playing this is it kind of has a, a Fable vibe. Yeah, well, the the dialogue too is is very fable esque. It's um you know kind of British accents and stuff, but they're like have that silly fable like acting to them. Same with the art design. It like the the characters are not really hardcore. It's not very realistic like Skyrim or anything like that. Right. It's, it's a much more cartoonish. Yeah, so, I mean, look. Not not a bad thing. I mean, look at that is, man. It's Hughes, I think. He puts Martin Scorsese's eyebrows to shame. Uh, yeah. So we, we have these dialogue trees here. Um, I returned from the dead at the beginning. That was that was okay. my thing. I was being and grew a mustache in. instantly. The mustache was part of me before I returned from the dead. Okay. Sorry, <laughs> sorry for that. That's Damn disappointing, it. I guess. So we're gonna go ahead and kind of fly through this here because so it has it's it's okay. it has these where you can like choose the direction of the conversation oh, and okay. then it has which I guess we're not you know I'm just gonna do what's going on. Um, it has like the di like dialogue wheel. Okay, as well. so yeah, the which is weird the because Bioware. let's get out of here. Your your another cutscene. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you were mentioning that there's a fair share of cutscenes here. So far, I mean, it's uh, you know it's an RPG and this is yeah. the early stages and they're trying to develop what the heck is going on. So let's escape the tower out of the darkness. Sorry, guys, if you're looking to. Uh, <laughs> See what kind of what kind of story is going on. We're just trying to get through to the gameplay, which I think is going to be what you're probably most interested in. Um, we hope, probably. I mean, oh, if, well, if, oh, thank you, sprinting, hot damn! Did you know you could do? Or did they not I, I have know. that? I, I hadn't tried. Oh, See? that's why there's a tutorial, man. Oh. You got to learn to sprint. Yeah. Also, before we started recording, there's there's some pretty neat uh, stealth attacks. Yeah, I'll um, switch up to some of that. So right now, my alternative is this staff. They gave me that before I started fighting spiders. Um, <laughs> yeah, you Clearly. Know, you know. Secondary, I also have these crude iron daggers, which are really awesome for sneak attacks, and this uh, birch bow, which is obviously a bow for range attacks. Ooh. So let's, let's use these daggers here. But you can do some sneaking, like, there's definitely stealth kills and everything. And uh, from my understanding of the way this game has been designed, 
Um, they don't really want you picking a class until you're a little bit further into the game. Hmm. So you're not just picking a class right from the onset. You're like going to learn what. So that's why they're kind of giving you like the staff. And I'm the getting magic everything stuff. right yeah. now. Yeah. So I'm going to try out everything, and then it's going to say, "All right, it's time to." I think they're called destinies. You can pick them, and, and you cannot pick. So them. So they ask you to choose your destiny. Choose your destiny. Look. Oh God. God. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Look at this guy. All right, let's get out the bow. I have no area of effect attacks right now. All I ever just localized. Stuff. Nice. Now, now, one thing I I know you were. Um, I'm gonna actually question you while you're trying to beat a boss. So good uh -huh. luck with this. But um, the menu system is a little bit more cu cumbersome too to what you're expecting. I, I well, I think unfortunately compared to Skyrim, you know, I, again, again, I'm I'm probably looking for more than I'm gonna get here, which is fine. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, I'm, I'm used to... God, these, these stupid ass soldiers. <laughs> I'm used to Skyrim, which has a very unique and interesting menu system. Um, huh. And one that works very well and is... It's very intuitive, very on, quick. Yeah, there's an emphasis on getting in, getting out, and, and getting what you need. Yeah. Oh, bitch. Probably now, need some health. I'm, watch, I'm seeing you roll around here. Is that like a kind of God of War quick action type? It thing? is. It's just... All right. Which is cool, I guess. That is pretty neat for... Especially for an R RPG, I mean, I know Skyrim and stuff, it's kind of the action RPG. Like, you slash and your guy slashes. You're not standing around waiting to, like, you know, pass back and forth attacks or anything like that. But it's nowhere near as quick as this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I have a block, which I forgot about. <laughs> Shut up. Come on, take out that rock troll, man. I'm trying, dude. Parried. Oh, nice. Yeah, they have a little bit of a, like a cinematic flair to sometimes when you parry. Just actually, comparison to God of War again. Oh, and oh, oh apparently oh. we're doing this yep. too. <laughs> this is the first quick time oh. I've had. Oh, good. Get that right oh. through your face. God. First quick time event, so don't let that put you off. I have not experienced a single quick time event. I, yeah, I think it's just a finisher. Squire's ring, you Get say? That. I don't have one of those. Get that squire's ring. Cloudy protection shard. Why was this? What did this rock troll need ninety three gold coins for? <laughs> you don't know what he does <laughs> in his free time. His rock. I mean, troll? he's he's ugly enough that he needs to go to a hooker. Sage when he wants to get a little bit of love. Sure. Okay, so I, I think I've got my health is not really regening at all. Should it be? I don't know. You might need potions. That'd be weird. I think. Oh, are we about to get much more open? We might be. Cool. So, I mean, so far, definitely a game worth checking out if you're an RPG fan. There's three skill trees and, like, 24 different things to unlock in each. I don't... Oh. You can't use that door anymore. <laughs> I closed it like that. <laughs> out of the darkness, eh? So can I go everywhere? Like, you can't get uh -huh. you can't get water. You can't, you can't do any of that type of stuff. Oh, really? Like, you can't just kind of, like, jump in there and muck around? Level up. Hot damn. Nice. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, this is... So, I'm gonna do... Heck, one at random. <laughs> um, alchemy, blacksmithing, you can harvest component. What? So, it looks this like none of, none of this stuff is your standard... No. Like, strength. No. But you can do stealth. I can do stealth. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do stealth just for lols. There you go. Oh, and then here comes my skill tree. So I have oh, the God. might, one point available. So I got dagger mastery, precise weaponry. Let's do the charge special attacks, huh? Sorcery. Finesse. You need some finesse. No, I do, man. <laughs> might, here we go. Let's do some long sword mastery. Go for it. You still got two more points. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Um, I was also going to add, uh, while Joe kind of bumbles around here looking for <laughs> what he wants to master yeah. himself in, um, <laughs> that is. there is incentive also to downloading this demo. Um, basically, if you download this and play through it to completion, is my understanding, you'll unlock in-game items for Mass Effect 3's full game. Well, as well as the full game of this when it comes out. Oh, are you going to try to knife and steal? Stealth the shit at... Oh. oh. Man, they're on to you. Shh, 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 shh. Shut up for a second. All right, you can keep talking. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. Because those deer can't hear me. Fuck. Oh, you no. You know what? Assholes. Um, ah! Oh, God. 
Two experience. Yeah. Um, okay, and then Mass <laughs> Effect 3 is getting a demo um, next month. If you download that, you'll uh, be able to unlock items for this game. Like, they're doing a cross-promotion yeah. type of thing. So it, she it sure is pretty. Yeah. Look yeah. at that. It's got some, some good art design there once you get out here in the open with the, the greens and it's not all browns and grays. Temporary bonus, huh? So, you know, I'm surprised that it didn't open up this way. I'm, I'm a little bit surprised that it chose it in interior course. I guess it is the lead designer of Elder Scrolls, Oblivion, and Morrowind. And I know Obli- I never played Morrowind, actually, but I know Oblivion... I played the first town, and then it was too daunting of an experience. <laughs> and I, <laughs> I know Oblivion opened up uh, with you in a prison. So, yes. and you had to escape. So I imagine it's much... The same. Yeah, I, I mean, it, it makes sense that they... Did that not load in? Is that what that what's going on up there with the blackness? Oh, that might be a glitch. Oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah. It's a demo, so hopefully yeah. that, that will be oh. the case. Who did I just meet here? You've come from the... Ta- yeah, I have. Fate Weaver. I don't know. I don't really care. <laughs> yeah, we've run into a few glitches. Uh, yeah, a, a lot of and audio then... glitches, a lot of and which might be happening right now since we don't have the headphones plugged in. But uh, a lot of audio glitches that just kind of caused it to, to skip, pop, and freeze, and do some weird stuff. Yeah, he looks cool. Hey man, look at that beard. Oh, can I get some help? Successful persuasion. I don't know why. Whatever. <laughs> Prepare thyself. They're coming. All right, good. More combat. Take out these fools. And then we'll end it there. Okay. Sorry we didn't get to show a ton of the open world, but we got we got like 15 minutes here. Yeah, we're busy people. What, what can we say? <laughs> All right. Special attack. Fate things. Ooh. I don't really know what, what how to do a special attack. Whatever. Wow, you just Ruined destroyed him. him. Ooh, more. These guys. These guys. They look like assassins. Fate meter is full. Reckoning mode. How do I do it? Okay. So you come to oh god. So what does it give you? Uh. Oh. Wait. No. no. I don't know what I'm doing here, but. Do you have to go up to him and press A? I don't know. They're all just kind of chilling out there. <clears throat> Unraveling enemy to perform a fate shift. Skadoosh. Whoa. Don't get about that. So I'm sure that... <laughs> wow, that guy went <laughs> flying. Oh, man. We'll, right. that, we'll end on that note. Yeah, okay. That explosive <laughs> note. All right, guys, this has been uh, Watch Us Play. I'm, I'm Eric, alongside Joey here. Um, follow us on follow us on Twitter. Uh, subscribe on YouTube for more Crave Online original series. And uh, hit up CraveOnline.com for more gaming coverage and film, movies, TVs, comics, etc. All kinds of stuff. Yeah, yep. Catch you next time. See ya.